It's the weekend, and you know what that means. It's time to open some more packs. And you know what? Today, I figured I'm not going to wait for the 2K special. I'm just going to go for it and open this Crossroads of Chaos booster box. No, I'm, never, I'm not going to do that. I would never do that. We're waiting for 2K. So if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button so we can open this epic box at 2K subscribers. And after we do that, we're going to be doing a box break where you guys are going to be opening some of those packs for yourself. But like every video, you know today we have another giveaway. Hidden Arsenal 1 pack. All you have to do, leave a like, subscribe, and comment. What's your favorite poll today or uh, what's your favorite set that we are opening up? And as you can see, we're going to be opening up Raging Battle, Twilight Edition, and of course our favorite special edition. X Saber Power Ups. Basically a little mini round of what we already did yesterday. Raging Battle's been so good to us, we had to do it again. So, without further ado, we're gonna get right to that. But uh, before we do, actually, we're gonna be opening up some more packs today. And those ones being some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel packs. You guys uh, didn't seem to like, <laughs> don't seem to like the Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. Not as much love for Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel as uh, has 5Ds or GX, so I'm gonna throw it in here with this opening. Um, recently released that video with uh, just Zexel packs and didn't do as well as the other ones, but nonetheless, pretty epic because these guys, of course, still come with Ghost Rares. And you know, we haven't pulled that Star Eater Ghost yet, so can we do it here today? Rare and, okay, not on the first pack. Oh, cool. Is that Pot of Duality on there? Again, have not pulled that Ghost Rare Star Eater, so... Goals. Yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel, again, doesn't get as much love, but... I still like it. It's, uh, we still got Ultimate Rares. We still got Ghost Rares, but this is one of the sets where Ultra Rares weren't... It, like, ultimate Rares weren't just Ultras. They had all kind of ult Ultimate Rares, I believe. Uh, and then, and then they had ultra rares that were only available in ultra so no ultimate rare versions so this is when they started changing it up a little bit mecha phantom beast one of the mecha phantoms those guys are always great brotherhood of the fire fist boar and so 0 for 2 for judgment of the light hasn't been the best set to us still some cool alties we can get in there too but here is actually another ghost rare that we haven't pulled again Yu-Gi-Oh's Axel. I know, no love for it. <laughs> but Legacy of the Valiant, I love that pack art. Reminds me of um, Absolute Power Force, the color scheme. It's like the only other pack that I know of that's black, like of the main sets. Invasion of Chaos, that's another one. <sighs> and uh, of course, Phantom Darkness. Actually, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX had two black sets, Phantom Darkness and uh, Shadow of Infinity. Oh, looks like we have our first Hollow, and look at that, it is an ultra rare Gravekeeper's Nobleman. Is that a dude? Looks like a girl. This card seems really new, like the printing on these. Laval, it's definitely one of the, uh, the newer prints of Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal packs. Alrighty, whoops, in the camera a little bit there. Not too bad, one for one. Where's that ghost rare? Ghost rare we can pull in here is uh, Mobius. Mobius the Mega Monarch, I believe it's called. Come on. Yep, yeah, come on. Yeah, so I gotta throw these packs in here at the start <laughs> with, uh, with some other epic sets. I'm actually gonna be opening up some Force of the Breaker too. Just one pack I had straggling around, so. That's pretty cool. Paladin of Photon Dragon. That's neat. Oh, and we have another Hollow here. And another Ultra Rare. Two Gravekeepers cards back to back. That's funny. Juan, those are for you. That's too funny. I know you're making your Gravekeepers. Are you like your Gravekeepers? Gravekeepers and Nobleman and Gravekeepers Oracle back to back Ultra Rares from Laval. That's too funny. I'm not sure what those guys go for. Let me check. Okay, yeah, not the best. Uh, not the best Ultra Rares, but we'll take it. 
first two hollows of the day from Laval. Hopefully we can pick it up even more with our next couple sets here. We're gonna be opening up some Generations Force and Return of the Duelist. But we're also gonna be opening up some Unlimited Generations Force. These guys are actually a European print, so I'm gonna open these first. Um, as you can see, little red dot, short, short flap, short flab, <laughs> short tab. But I just wanted to open some of these because I don't have too much Generations Force in terms of blister packs. Um, and Generations Force, really cool set, of course, one of the earlier, well, the first Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal set. And has some awesome Elemental Hero Ultimate Rares that I don't have. So hopefully we can pull one here today. Even if it's unlimited, it'd be really cool. Because these would be European print. Oh, it's a hollow. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought that was a hollow. Fish and kicks. All right, next pack here. Generations Force Unlimited. I do have some of these for sale, actually. I was contemplating not opening these guys because um, I'm, I am selling them. So hit me up if you're interested. Uh, I have my eBay link. Oh, look at that first card, Drill Barnacle. My eBay link is in the description as well as, of course, my Instagram. Hit me up if you guys are ever interested in anything that you see available. And back to back commons. Okay, so not the best with Generations 4 so far. Now we gotta switch it up a little bit. Now we gotta go Return of the Duelist. And here, I believe there's still a pretty big ultimate rare we haven't pulled. We haven't pulled the Spellbook Magician. I'm sorry, I don't know many of these new cards, so. But yes, we have pulled, though. We have pulled the Ghost Rare from here. Of course, in a pack battle versus Ruxin 34. Xyz bow and... Ah, or, sorry, Xyz bow. XW, XW, ZW, Bo. Here we go. Come on, Yu-Gi-Mo. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's finish up. Oop, thought I just dropped a full pack there. Did not. Yeah, let's finish up. Return of the Duelist. What are some other alties we can get in here? Well, I struggle to open this pack. That's a little bow. We're done with that. Uh, yeah, Spellbook of Secrets. I've actually already pulled that. But Maldoche Pudding Cess, yes, that's the one we want. The other Maldoche card to go along with uh, the Tiramisu that we recently pulled. All right, here we go. Return of the Duelist. Ah, okay. We did not get a great return on return. <laughs> but um, Generations Force, let's go. These ones are first edition, but, uh, oh yeah, I didn't even mention, number 17 right here, the first Ghost Rare from Zexel. We haven't pulled this guy yet, so that's the goal here today. We're shooting for the stars. Trying to high-five the sky. I believe that's that guy, this guy's catchphrase. <laughs> go, 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 go. Treaty of Uniform Nomenclature. Goblin de Berg. Violent Filament. Jaws Man and the legendary wind up key. Wind ups. Somebody used to use that deck. Actually, I'll be opening up some more Zexel packs. I know, it's probably not what you guys want to hear, but um, uh, around Easter, Easter's coming up. I'll be opening up some Photon Shockwave packs because there's plenty of bunnies in that set. <laughs> so it's a very fitting set to open up. I think about these things, guys. Fishing kicks. Hope you guys are getting your fishing kicks out of this cringy commentary. <laughs> and, ooh, man. This is a rough start so far for Generations Force. Have not pulled any of the ultimate rare e, e hero cards that we want to. But, we have another pack here. We're moving on to 5Ds. And these, <laughs> poet, and I didn't even know it. These are actually for Toe and Foe Show. So, this is pack number 127, if we're keeping count. This is going to be pack number 127, 28, and 129. So, Toen, here we go. Can we pull our Ancient Fairy, finally? White Potent. Aegis of the Ocean. Is it a hollow? It is an XX Saber Fultral. 
another super rare X Saber card. Turbo Rocket to go along with them. And now to crack the other ones from this X Saber power up that you guys know know a ton about, of course. You've seen a few of these opened on the channel. Here we go. Getting a couple more of these Ancient Prophecy packs, and you know we're gonna save that little special purple pack. Start us overdrive, we'll save that one for later. Here we go. Come on, Toen. Let's get a nice alti here if we can't pull a ghost. Ooh, looks like a bendy here. These are still Upper Deck Entertainment printing, so you won't be able to see the alti right away. <sighs> Guys, we have a white card alert. So you know what that means. We're going to go from the back here. Release restraint. Is he... I, there is some super rares in this set, so I'm really hoping it isn't one of them, but I'm feeling a big one here. I'm feeling at least an ultra rare pull. Dare I say a freaking ultimate. Let's go. There's our rare XX Saber Foam Knight. Last card. Hey, there we go. An ultra rare ancient sacred wyvern. Okay, there we go. It's really off centered. Ooh, oh no. That's unfortunate, it has like a little ding out of it right out of the pack, but it is an Ancient Sacred Wyvern, an ultimate rare, this is one of my favorite cards. What It looks like, like, I don't know if that's like a misprint, but it looks like almost like in the foiling. It's like wavy, it's almost like there's like a secret rare foiling in there, can you guys see that? Am I losing my mind? Ancient Prophecy is known for some wacky prints, so you never know. Unfortunately, it does have that little ding at the top. But we pulled an ultra rare Toen. <laughs> Not bad. Hey, maybe our luck is uh maybe our luck's changing with Ancient Prophecy for ya. Like I said, I'm gonna be pack battling Toen with his own pack soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Alright, let's pick this opening up a little bit. Does this look promising? Is this another hollow? XX Saber Ragigura. Ooh, really off-centered cards. And water hazard. Do not think, whoops, shiny black sea. All right, now we are gonna be opening up some Raging Battle. And if you guys have watched the last few videos, you know that Raging Battle, where's my tool? Just got a pen here. Oh no, there's my tool. You guys know that the last two Raging Battle Special Editions have had three Ultimate Rares in them. Pretty crazy, so can we go three for three here and pull another ultimate rare out of our third Raging Battle Special Edition? Ooh, and I forgot, there's a card in here, potentially. You guys know, again, if you've watched the last couple videos, there's a card in here, potentially, that could be a misprint card, promo card, and that is a dual disc version of Vice Dragon. Now. It is an extremely rare card and very unlikely to get it. Like I said, this is probably a dark creator, but I believe it would be an effect monster, which we did see there. So is this a first on YouTube vice dragon? <sighs> Imagine <laughs> the dark creator. Okay, unfortunately, like I called just the dark creator, but we do have our awesome raging battle packs here. So, Let's get going once again with Raging Battle. An absolutely epic set. Earthbound Immortals. Some epic ultimate rare cards in here. And of course, that cover card. Ghost Rare, Power Tool, Dragon. Evil Thorn, that actually used to be a, a very good card before it was reprinted, of course. Black Whirlwind. Ojama Blue. And... Mermaid Archer. Ah, no! Don't ruin our streak, Raging Battle. <laughs> no. First pack. Actually, last couple of packs. If you guys watched those videos, didn't go too good either. So, let's see if we can change our fortunes around here. Raging Battle, pack number two. Can we get another ultimate rare? Raging Battle, what else would I want to pull from here? Let's check real quick. Any of the Earthbound Immortals, really. 
We pulled that awesome Forbidden Chalice. Oh, there's actually another awesome Synchro in here I'd want to pull. Trident Dragion. Can we pull that right here? Let's go. Double Returner and... Ah, okay. I do not think it is a Holo. Unfortunately not. No! We're at risk. We're risking it, guys. We're risking the streak here. Do we just not open this? No. We have to do it. We're risking the streak of Ultimate Rares from Raging Battle Special Editions coming to an end. Smash that like and subscribe if you guys haven't already done so. You guys know what's coming. Crossroads of Chaos opening. 2k subs. Right after we pull this Power Tool Dragon Ghost Rare. Junk box. It's a hollow. Oh, but it's just the super rare. Quacky Miru War Arms. That's jokes. He's like a little bear there. And Tree Otter. It's a funny pack. Unfortunately, we broke our streak of ultimate rares from Raging Battle Special Editions. But we're not done. We do have the Stardust Overdrive pack, but we're going to be cracking open some more GX goodies. Oh, and I almost forgot. Let's why not? Let's open that first. This Force of the Breaker. Let's get these packs out here. Force of the Breaker. It's orange. It matches the uh, Raging Battle Special Edition. These are retail packs, but still some epic cards that you can pull out of here. Ultimate Rare. Um, Harpy. Harpy Queen. Great card. And Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger. Those are probably the top Ultimate Rare pulls as I launch these other packs out of the screen there. Come on, can we pull one? Crystal Blessing. Hard Selling Zombie. Ah, Warrior of Atlantis. Unfortunately, did not pull an ulti there. Still no ulti for this video. Come on. We saving it for the end. Last pack magic ulti. Oh, did I just launch that? Yep. I just launched that Honest across the screen. So many Honests for sale. If you guys are ever interested. Here we go, though. Some epic Yu-Gi-Oh! GX packs. Let's get our game on with... Let's go with Phantom Darkness first. The Phantom Darkness. Oh, let's get that super rare... Super rare bear out of the way. Again, these are also European print. Come on. Look promising, guys. Let's go. City and Dragon, The Calculator, Spell Chronicle, Cybernetic Zone, Offering to the Snake Deity, and is it a hollow? It is not all out attacks. Unfortunately, no Ghost Rare, Rainbow Neos there. Tactical Evolution or Light of Destruction? I'm gonna go Tactical. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go Tactical Evolution. No. No. Let's go Reverse Order. Let's go Light of Destruction. Let's do it. I'm pulling the Reverse Uno, Uno card on you guys here to pull that Fossil Dina. Fossil Dina. Fachi La Follow. Let's go Secret Rare Fossil Dina Fachi La Follow. We're all taking Honest. <laughs> Garrett. Quick Charger. Destruction Jammer. And a Gladiator Lash. Ooh, Lady in White. Again, another card that used to be a lot better before reprints. Alright guys, last GX pack magic here. I don't know why I keep moving the pack in the background. Tactical Evolution. Let's go. Where's our first ultimate secret? I won't get greedy. We don't need a ghost in this video. <laughs> Never mind, we'll, we'll take one. It's been a while. But if not, I will take that Elemental Hero Dark Bright. Let's go. Calling it right now. Elemental Hero Dark Bright is the call of the day. Chrysalis Pantail. Rise of the Snake Deity. Common Charity. And another common pack. That was an awful, awful special edition for Twilight, unfortunately. But we're here, guys. The moment of truth. Official last pack magic. Stardust Overdrive. We've already pulled the Majestic Star Dragon in Ultra Rare, in Ghost Rare, as you may have seen from the outro. But 
can we pull one of those huge secret rare fairies or can we pull it in ultimate rare here we go stardust overdrive first edition packs is it a, is it a hollow i'm not sure synchro barrier quick draw synchron gemini counter gemini spark Dark Spider. I have no idea if it's a hollow or not. Woodland Spider. Or sorry, Woodland Archer. Ooh. Is it a hollow? If that's a rare, I'm not sure. I'm terrible at card tricks. Sorry, guys. Come on. Smash like for some last pack magic here. It's a hollow. <sighs> Fortune's Future. That's actually a pretty decent super rare. But of course, that's not how we want to end the day, unfortunately. Just a super rare from Stardust Overdrive. Again, in value. Actually, that used to be like $30 or something like that. Actually, let's round everything up right now. All right, for the recap, our promo cards are Dark Creator and Ultra Rare Honest. Epic, epic promo cards. A couple awesome super rares. Quacky Miru War Arms. Not really that awesome, but Fortune's Future. Pretty decent uh, super from Stardust Overdrive. We also have, of course, Tone Faux Shows pulls. You probably did better than me in terms of ratio. Uh, super Rare XX Saber, Fultral and Ultra Rare, Ancient Sacred Wyvern, might be, might be misprint, I don't know, maybe I'm looking a little bit too much into it, <laughs> but of course we have our Ultra Rare pulls, a couple of Gravekeepers here, Gravekeepers, Nobleman and Gravekeepers Oracle, that does it for today, unfortunately no ulti, but I hope you guys all have an epic weekend, until next time, peace! <laughs>